um hello everybody uh today i would like to talk about an experiment conducted by albert michelson and edward morley this was one of the most important experiments in physics and a lot of breakthroughs were found after this experiment so i would like to start off with a belief that people had quite a long ago so people thought that anything which propagated or traveled needed a medium to do so for example water waves needed water and sound waves needed air so people were perplexed when they thought when they had to believe that light did not need a medium to travel so they wanted they wanted to prove that light needed a medium to travel so the two scientists they conducted an, an experiment to prove that there was a substance called ether and by proving so they would prove that light also had a medium to travel through and they thought that ether was what filled empty space so to prove this they used an experiment they used an apparatus called interferometer so this device basically consisted of a light source preferably a laser source and the setup also consisted of a partially silvered mirror and two vertical and horizontal mirrors <coughs> so what this device would do is that it would shoot a ray of light onto this partially silvered mirror and since this is partially silvered this would allow a set of rays to pass through and it would also reflect a set of rays when these rays hit this mirror and this mirror they are normal mirrors so they reflect the rays back and again when the rays hit this mirror a set of rays are a set of rays pass through the mirror like that and are reflected back to the source and the same happens over here reflected and pa allowed to pass through so the set of rays which get reflected from the reflected and refract uh, pass through this mirror when they come back from these two mirrors they are allowed to interfere and they form an interference pattern over here somewhat like this so this was how the interferometer was set up and the and if ether existed they would observe some different results each time they conducted an experiment that is because earth moves at a immense speed of 10000 100000 kilometers per hour around the sun so if ether existed the motion of earth around the sun would have caused a wind much like when we travel in a car um, the motion of the car um, makes air look like it's traveling fast behind us so we call it wind so this ether wind must have caused some changes in the interference patterns since um it would result in uh, the change of the light's path back from the uh, partially silvered mirror 
but uh, even though they performed this experiment multiple times in different climatic conditions in different times of the day they observed a much similar interference pattern in every experiment so this led to them concluding that there was no such thing as ether and they had to find new methods to explain the traveling the propagation of electromagnetic waves and this this resulted in einstein developing his his special theory of relativity and many more theories so uh, i conclude that this experiment even though a failed one has had caused a lot of minds to open up and open up to uh, more possibilities of <clears throat> of new laws and new experiments